So recently, the terminology we use to describe God has come into the limelight. And I'm very glad that it has because it's provided an opportunity to open a discussion about it. Although very much what's going on with the gender neutral terms and, you know, trying to confuse humans between masculine and feminine and, and all of this bullshit. When we're talking about God, it's a completely different thing. And you've got terms like the divine creator or even the term or the word God itself, uh, the infinite energy, the source. These are actually gender neutral terms when you think about it. I mean, what, what is the, the divine creator? That's not masculine or feminine. I think this is actually the only time, perhaps, maybe, that using a gender neutral term is appropriate because we're not talking about man, woman. We're talking about an incredibly infinite being that we're all sort of connected to, that's a part of us, but we can deepen our connection to it. There's all sorts of these paradoxes around God. But I do actually believe the word it. I mean, I, I often refer to God as God or the divine creator when in conversation or the divine or whatever, but I never say he anymore. Whenever it's the appropriate time to refer to God in some sort of way like that, I just go, yeah, it's all around us. It's everywhere. God is everything. It is everything. You are God. We are God. But paradoxically, you can deepen your connection to God. You can deepen your connection to it. And it's incredible. Now, really contemplate this in your mind. Because obviously what happens is the media makes, you know, a story and it comes from somewhere. A lot of people's initial instinct is to rebel against what they're saying. And that's probably true. Right, because a lot of the time you can guarantee whatever the mainstream media is saying, you want to do a 180 on that. However, there are some things that maybe they know that there's going to be a portion of the population that are going to do this 180 without thinking. So that they deliberately put out stuff that's going to cause this reaction, but actually the reaction is what they want. And they don't want people to be maybe thinking deeply and just actually questioning what's going on here beyond this initial, like, because it's interesting. You've got people, they, they'll have the thought but then do you actually question the thought and have a thought about the thought? Are we getting deeper into philosophy and psychology and, uh, and all of that sort of stuff? And my connection to God from my own experience, if I was to just give you a brief history so you can understand where I'm at and it might help you on your journey. Before I woke up, I would have been what you would class as agnostic, I suppose. However, if I couldn't see it, I didn't really believe in it. But I had this feeling that there was something greater out there somewhere. I can even remember as a very young child at school saying about this to my friends. Whereas I didn't believe in anything that I couldn't see with my own eyes. I didn't believe in ghosts and I thought it was funny and I was quite into the science and, and all this sort of stuff. I couldn't see it, it didn't exist. But then I woke up and everything that I knew about reality changed. But that happened many, many times. It's not like you just wake up, oh, the government's corrupt, I'm done now. There's an incredible journey ahead of you if you've only just started. So along that journey, I started getting into spirituality and meditation and experimenting with, with psychedelics, but also MDMA and ecstasy and not just going out and partying, which is a lot of fun if you want to do that, if you get good high quality ecstasy, but you can actually meditate and go spiritually deep with ecstasy. There's this other side to it that I discovered and explored deeply. And I, start, I experienced all these incredible sensations and even without drugs, but it, when also experimenting with drugs and the, it led me to believe that there's things going on that I can't see. And I started getting into Qigong and I'm starting to actually really feel this energy between my hands and I can move it around my body. And I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, there's definitely something here that I can't see. But then I started getting into God again. Even the word God can be a bit of a trigger word, but my relationship at first, when I first started to develop it, so I don't come from a religious background at all. There was no nothing, no spirituality in my family at all, at least in these generations. My my connection at first was very sincere. It was very sincere. It was like talking very seriously and, uh, and you know, kind of like how a lot of Christianity or Christians or a lot, actually I'd say quite, probably quite a few of the, the main religions, how they refer to God. It's very sincere and you, there's this and that and, you know, Christians believe you can't fucking swear. Well, I don't think God gives a fuck if you swear or not. It's only humans that care about those words. Anyway, so it started out very serious. But then over the years, and you know, continually I'm praying, I'm de developing myself and all this. Uh, I'm sure God fucks with me occasionally. Or there's some sort of guide, guardian spirit, even maybe my higher self that occasionally likes to fuck with me. Or there might be a lesson in there somewhere. Usually there is, but just sometimes like, are you just fucking with me? 
and I f- I'm I'm certain that God has a sense of humor in some way, shape, or form. But over the years, my connection, kind of like how a connection with a person can deepen and change and grow and evolve and you know become more, uh, I guess, intimate or more relaxed. You just know each other, so you can just be each other. There's no needing to hide anything because you just be are who you are. So my relationship with God has actually changed quite significantly over the years. Now it's very casual. I mean, there'll be, there'll be some moments where I'm in this like vibe and, I'll, and I'll, I'll pray and I'll just be like channeling this incredible sincere energy and I'm like, wow, I'm just this... This, this soldier, this divine vessel here to, to bring God into this world and it's all very fucking spiritually empowering. But then other times I'm just talking to God like I talk to a friend. I'm just like, yo, how you doing? You know, I'm going through this, this is happening. Or I, I joke or... Uh, I think that's one of the beautiful things about breaking away from religion. And there are actually some dangers about society in a whole breaking away from religion with nothing to take its place that's consensually agreed upon. But one of the benefits is actually... You can develop your own connection to God. It's not like you have to have, go to the church and have someone else be in the middle between you and God. There is no, there is no middleman. There doesn't have to be a middleman. You can develop this connection inside you, and that's really, really amazing. So that's one of the benefits too, about the fact that we're not, you know, religion is moving out of our society. At least here in England, there are many, many dangers about this. Though and I've covered this in other videos, and it gets into moral relativism. We need to have some sort of consensus framework on what is the acceptable behaviour beyond just law, because it's different to well. There's no law to say you can't act with integrity, or you have to act with integrity, right? If you don't act with integrity, you go to jail. No, that doesn't exist. You need some spiritual sort of foundation here to go to the next level beyond the law where it's like don't do this or you will go to jail it's like if you act like this you're going to have a brilliant life and god will love you and praise you and reward you and and it'll be a fun experience and you'll learn and you'll grow and you might have challenges but this is a more harmonious way to live and if enough people lived like this we'd have a more free society and it wouldn't be uh the bad guys with so much control and so many societal problems would be fixed that's sort of where we're at right now it's like do you actually want to be living in a better world have a better life not just for yourself but for everybody how is your connection with God? How do you relate to God? What terminology do you use? I'd be interested to hear, but that's how I relate to God.